Hey, what's up guys, Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video to compare different tools to transform images into vectors. And so in this video I'm going to compare vectorizer.ai, which is a website, and I'm going to compare Inkscape image trace. And finally, I'm also going to compare Illustrator image trace. And so if you're trying to figure out which tool to use to vectorize your images that could be coming from AI image generators or simply just in general to reach your goals, then this video could be for you. So let's go right in. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to make two tests, okay? And the first test that you can see on the left is basically a simple black design that I want to vectorize and transform it into a vector, okay? And so this one should be pretty simple because it's simply one color, but I still want to see if it's easy to do and if it does everything that I need, like removing the background. And then on the right, I also have my second test, which is basically a ski goggles. And as you can see, it is much more complex and it has some gradients and there's also white inside the design. And so I want to see like if I remove the white or if I remove the background, that is, does it influences the anything. So let's do that. So let's start with the test number one, which is the simple design. So first of all, I'm going to try with vectorizer.ai. Okay, and vectorizer.ai is a website where you simply drag in your image and it basically transform your image into a vectors. And so in this case, it's pretty simple. And there you go. Okay, now I can download this and then I can decide which parameters that I want to, to have for my design. So usually I try to remove the fill gaps and I flatten the shapes. So that's usually what I do. But the thing that I don't like with vectorizer.ai is that they're not, you're not able to remove the background in one single step. Yes, I have all these parameters, but it, I don't have anything to remove the background. And so what I would usually do is that I would download this and then open it in a vector editing software. And so in this case, this is the result for vectorizer.ai and I'm pretty happy about it. And this is good. This is pretty good. But the only thing that I don't like is that it was not able to remove the background. Okay, so now let's try with Inkscape. So what I'm going to do now is simply drag my image in. And now I have my image in. And now I'm going to right click, choose trace bitmap. And then I get this menu. I'm going to choose multicolor. And in this case, we can choose a number of colors that we can that we can have. And in this case, I'm going to choose the least amount of colors because this is a simple black design. And I'm also going to select remove background because I kind of remove the background. Right now there's a background and I want to remove it. Okay. And so there you go. Now I'm simply going to apply it. So there you go. Now I got my vector and it removed the background. And the only thing that I want to do right now is uh, select path and split path because by doing that, I'm able to select the heart and, and move it around and, and basically separates everything so that I can play with it. So now I'm, I'm pretty good about that. And you can also change the color and put it to red, you put it to green. So this is really, really great. So now let's do it with Illustrator. So I'm going to take my image, slide it in, and I am going to make sure that the window image trace is there because this is the tool that I'm using. So now the mode, I'm going to select color and I'm so going to select the least amount of color possible because this is a simple black design. And so here we have an option to ignore the color. So in my case, I want to ignore the background. So I'm going to make sure to select the background. And so right now, this is a simple preview. So it looks fine to me. And so once I want to confirm it, what I can do is simply go in object and expand the object. And so yes, okay. 
And now what I want to do is that I want to ungroup everything because by ungrouping everything, then I'll be able to select the little things and move them around. So this is pretty cool. And now I can also change the color just like any vectors. So for this test, I think that both Inkscape and illustrators are winning because this is a simple vector this is a simple image and it was able to remove the background transform it into a vector and from a single step i'm able to edit change the color and all of these things and i think that both of these softwares are able to do a really great job and the problem with vectorizer.ai is that yes i might be able to vectorize my image but ultimately i have to do met many many steps to achieve my goal okay so i was not able to remove the background and ultimately in order to achieve my goal i have to use another software to remove the background and remove the color and simply edit my image so i might finish the job with illustrator i might finish the job with inkscape uh, or or any of these softwares so now let's do test number two with the ski goggles so let's first try with vectorizer.ai so i'm going to slide my image in and it is going to vectorize my image so now i have the result here so now i can take this image and simply download it and then I can preview my image. And as we can see here, it did a pretty good job, but the lines are not very great. I mean, this here is some sort of gradient, but the gradient is kind of not so good and the lines are kind of messed up. But overall, it, it's not so bad. I've seen worse, but I mean, the lines are not very good looking and we're not able to choose the colors as well, so that's kind of the bad thing. And now I could simply take this image, this SVG, and use another software in order to finish the job. Okay, so that's kind of what it is. So now let's go in Inkscape and see how that goes. So I'm going to take my image, put the image in. And then the cool thing about with this is that I'm able to select the amount of colors that I want. So in this case, I think I'm going to select five colors. Okay. And so I'm, I want to remove the background because removing the background is a pretty useful tool. And I'm going to apply. And now let's first see the result. Okay. So it kind of removed the background, which I kind of like, but... You see, it's not super good. It, was, it removed the background, but there's a lot of spots here that are not so good looking. So that's kind of not so good. So I'm gonna try again and try to keep the background in this case and see if it goes better. So now I kept the background, but as we can see here, it didn't do a very great job here. And there's a lot of spots everywhere. And this is basically not very usable. And so in this case, Inkscape might not be a very great job to vectorize this image because if there's too many colors or if the image is too complex, then it kind of do a, a bunch of bad things, okay? And so this is not an image that I would use and that I would print on uh, some t-shirts or anything at all, okay? And so that's kind of my thoughts for that. So now let's try with illustrator to see how that goes so i'm gonna take my image i'm gonna put it in and then i'm going to make sure that i have the image trace tool here and then the mode i'm going to select colors and the palette i am going to choose uh, limited and i'm going to select only five colors just like inkscape and first of all let's try and remove the background to see how that goes okay so for some reason i don't think it was able to remove the background so i'm not sure if there's a problem with this but it was not able to remove the background here um so let me try again okay so there you go now i was able to remove the background but since there are many colors in the design i was not able to remove all the background here so i think i'm gonna 
keep the background for now but overall i think this is a pretty decent result i mean the tracing is not exactly perfect and the top here is kind of not so good but this is this is something that i could see myself using anyway because it's I mean, it's not perfect, but it's actually quite good. Another cool thing about Illustrator is that you have way more control over your image. So in the palette, you can choose full tone and then it's able to kind of implement the gradient inside the image. So I think this is pretty cool. But in this case, if you're using this tool, like the image is kind of it's kind of breaking the image as well so the edge are not so good looking and so this is something that you could do as well but in my case i think i'm gonna not use the full tone so i'm gonna leave it to the palette limited with five colors and so now what i can do is expand this okay and then i'm going to ungroup and then i'm able to remove the background by selecting everything and there you, there you go so now i can start playing with it and change the colors and everything so for this test i think that vectorizer.ai did a better job to vectorize that the image but illustrator is also very good okay and so here we have illustrator and it did a pretty good job at vectorizing the image and the complex thing about this image is that there was a lot of color there were a lot of colors these tools had to vectorize all these gradients and all these colors and while remaining good looking and so here we have vectorizer.ai which is pretty good and I think that I prefer the image from vectorizer.ai the thing that i don't like about vectorizer.ai though is that i am not able to select the amount of colors and so i have less options for vectorizing my image while in illustrator i'm able to have many options and select the amount of colors that i want and i can try to remove the background as well so that's pretty cool too and so ultimately i think vectorizer does a better job but with vectorizer i have to download the image and then i have to deal with the file and then i have to import it into illustrator or inkscape or any vector editing software and so Yes, it did a better job here, but ultimately you have to use many tools in order to achieve your goal. So depending on the situation, I think both Illustrator and Vector.ai did a great job, but in their own ways. Okay, so I think they're both great. Okay, so in conclusion, I think that Illustrator is the best tool that you can, that you can use as of right now to vectorize your image but it also depends on your needs okay because the great thing with illustrator is that within the vector editing software you're able to image trace your image and you're able to select the colors you're able to remove the background in some cases and you're able to do everything within the software and the problem with Inkscape is that, yes, you might be able to do th these things as well, but the moment like the image becomes too complicated, then it breaks off everything. And so if you're using simple images, that might work, but if the image becomes too complex, then it's not so good, okay? And yes, vectorizer.ai might be a very great tool and you're able to vectorize your image really, really, really 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 great but ultimately with the, the problem with vectorizer.ai is that you have to do many steps to achieve your goal and so yes you might use the software and you might be able to vectorize your image but ultimately you have to use another tool you have to bring the the svg into another tool to be able to edit it and then to achieve your goal and another thing that i don't like about vectorizer.ai is that you're not able to choose the amount of colors that you want and you're not able to remove the background and so in the end you still have to use other tools and so for all these reasons i think that illustrator is probably the best tool because it is able to have all of these features and yes the result might not be that great but ultimately 
it is the most versatile tool that is able to do everything and so those are my thoughts about that and i hope that this video was helpful to you and if this video was valuable to you then you could consider liking my video and subscribing to my channel and you could also consider watching this video here where i explain how you can get the adobe creative cloud for cheaper and so that's it for this video okay peace